We're at Braddock Church in Cornwall. For some reason, it's really obscure, isn't it? It's a Sunday evening, and it's um, some of the region about nine o'clock. Um, when you first drive into Braddock, it's an amazing sensation of feel when you first come in. When you walk through those gates, you just get an absolute sense that everything is watching you. And it's hardly surprising because this ties in nicely with the the werewolf aspect down at the Valley of the Rocks that we um, filmed the other day, yesterday in fact. Today, where the, the, the stories of the vampires that are roaming here. Now, that could also come back from the Cromwellian times. This was the battlefield and the actual site of where the Cromwellian defeat occurred in battle. Many souls were lost here. And you just get that sense, and you have to be in awe of the place as we start to sort of walk around. Oh. The sense of being watched here is absolutely profound. We've got to go back to the year 1189. 1189 is when the first hidden report happened here. And that was the um, almost brushed under the carpet effect, I guess, with what happened here. There was a lady locking up the church in 1189. And basically what happened was she felt the sense of being followed and being watched as she came out of this very said door, this entrance here, the original entrance, that isn't used so much these days. I don't know how much of that you can see. Because there's not that many people around here that actually come to this church, I guess. It was almost marked back in 1189 as being um, that of the devil. And as she walked up this very said path here, she felt the sense of someone touching her shoulder. As she touched her shoulder, they dragged her back. Now, she says the next four and a half hours, she does not remember. But all she remembers is waking up just across further down the lane with the most strangest mark upon her hand on her right hand and that mark stayed with the lady until her very dying day so as we can imagine the stillness mm -hmm. of the night as she's locked up going about her way and she's just walked down here sense of everything happening here right now you, you it's actually quite overwhelming with the sense and it's this very same spot that she my arms are buzzing my back's buzzing it's just the most amazing energy and at this very same spot is exactly where Anne was literally claims that the hand on the shoulder touched her and the rest she does not remember those next four and a half hours apart from the mark of the Anne Trotman, T R O T T M A N, eleven eighty nine. Some say it was the work of the devil. Some say it was the vampires of the night. Or was it still the said werewolves, as it was mentioned, over at the Valley of the Rocks? Whatever it was, one thing's certain that here doesn't have any sense of good feeling. He has a sense of most um, darkness and the sense that at any moment you can be pounced upon and lured. Did you hear that? Yeah. You can you can feel Thomas Bunt. Seventy four years old. Interesting. The 
he actually gets his own marking onto the actual church itself. Right, I need your lighting to come round to you. Yeah, I uh, did. I heard it. You heard it? Yeah. What's it, Ma? Did you hear that too? Yeah. It wasn't a bird. Okay, we'll head out of this church. Are you getting the, you getting the sign? Yes. Good. to do is hear that on if there's anything on there. Did you hear those two these things? Negative energy, um, which was more than anyone should muster really at that point in time. We had two, for me personally, I, um, and I'm sure you all heard, we had two distinct warning signs. And at those warning signs you think, well that's now time to leave. Um, so that confirms the myth and legend in my book from what I've just experienced in there and I hope when we roll back these this this recording we get to see exactly what it was um, that just confirms to me that Braddock Church is very very interesting indeed um, probably to be avoided at certain points of night time that's for sure certain um, and certainly to be visited and probably explored more at any time in the daytime sadly we won't have that other opportunity now but um, on a future quest, if we're down this way, we will make sure we come back to Braddock Church in daylight to have a good look at that. The stories of the Conradian defeat, absolutely factual in history. The myth and legend of Anne Trotman, 1189, did it really happen? I believe it did. Um, just in this, exactly the same areas where we were, we felt that, we saw that, 
Um, and we had, as I say, those warning noises to say, basically, we're not welcome here, we should leave. And we have. We, we heeded that and left. <laughs>